Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Blue G90 Pro. Now this is Blue's first gaming smartphone and Blue's best phone to date. Now you can pick this one up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one as of today is 219 bucks. I repeat, 219 bucks. Now it comes in one color, purple haze, and it's GSM unlocked. So that means it's gonna work on all your carriers except for Verizon. All right, so let's go through all the specs. Now you got a 6.5 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. That is 396 for the PPI Patrol. For the processor, you got the MediaTek Helio G90T with the Mali G76 MC4 GPU. What does that mean in English? Budget specs, bro, budget specs. Now you got four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and a micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 10 with Blue's UI skin on top, which is basically a stock version of Android. Now you got a 5,100 milliamp battery that features 18 watt fast charge and 10 watt fast wireless charge. I repeat, wireless charging. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a quad setup. So you got a 48 megapixel wide angle, an eight megapixel ultra wide, a two megapixel depth sensor, and a two megapixel macro. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you got a single bottom firing speaker, you get face unlock, you got a rear mounted fingerprint sensor, and you get a headphone jack. All right, so all of that for 219 bucks, let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. White shoes. White shoes, calm down. Now on a side note, this is my second time making this video. The first time I recorded it, my SD card got corrupted, and that's the same thing that happened when I did my Galaxy S20 Ultra Real review, and I never uploaded it again. But this time, I'm shooting this video twice, because in this day and age, times is hard, people struggling for money, I think it's important for me to show y'all a phone that you could get for 219 bucks. So like I said, let's try this again. Blue G90 Pro. Now, in the back of the box, all the specs that we just read. Now, the whole theme here is purple. So, you got the purple box, purple haze color phone. Now, like I said, this is my second time doing this. So, when you first get it, it's going to look a lot more nice and neater in your presentation. Okay. So, inside, now I try to put everything back. Here's your device. You got your blue troll stickers. All right. Purple in color. Just in case you know anybody that spent a thousand bucks for a phone and you want to show them that you're all about that savings life. Hit them with the blue troll sticker. Now, of course, you got your usual books and shit. Pluck them and follow them. Nice little velvet case. I love the details. Check this out. Now, the phone came with a case. Not just any case. Look at this case. Y'all know how I feel about carbon fiber. Look at that. All right, Samsung, Apple, Google, pay attention. This is how you present a phone. The phone, the case, and accessories. And not just a cheap gel skin case, a decent case. And in this case, a carbon fiber case. In this case, a carbon fiber case. <laughs> I should check that out for quality. Here's your 18 watt fast charging brick. I should do your thing. Now it came with some headphones and a nice little uh, pouch, but I ripped it open. 3.5 jack, inline controls. Decent set of headphones. I should check that for quality control. One of the best things about blue phones is this, the microfiber, uh, microfiber, <laughs> the USB Type-C charging cable, all right? USB Type-C charging cable, tangle-free, and it has that metallic look to it. I think all phones should do this. I like this. All right, now speaking of microfiber cleaning cloth, it does have a microfiber cleaning cloth because check this out. As Billy Mays would say, wait, there's more. Tempered glass screen protector. So, to sum it up, you just spend 219 bucks, your phone came with a tempered glass screen protector, came with headphones, the metallic tangle-free USB Type-C charging cable, got a troll sticker, microfiber cleaning cloth, and a case. All right, in my neck of the woods, we call that one-stop shopping. All right, now for the phone itself. Same specs we just read through. Rah. Check this out. Now let me get a wipe down for the dramatic effect. Bang. Blue G90 Pro, purple haze. Now this color is beautiful. Let me do the smell test on this one. 
Mm! Smells like savings. All right, y'all know I love the sweet smell of savings. This phone has that. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'll set everything up. Then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I said this before, I'm gonna say it again, and I'm gonna keep saying it for the people in the back. It's 2020. In this day and age, there's no excuse for you to be walking around without a phone. And there's also no excuse for you to be walking around with a trash phone in your pocket. Your parents shouldn't have some old school Nokia phone. You shouldn't be walking around with a Motorola flip phone from back in the days. And your kids shouldn't be walking around with a track phone from Walmart. 219 bucks will get you a quality phone in 2020. First things first, let me show y'all the case. Now, one thing I like about Blue, they didn't just drop in a little gel skin case. They went above and beyond and gave you a nice protective case, which hit my heart with the carbon fiber trim. I love this. So here's how it's gonna look. Slaps right on. Maximum razivity on this one. Slam Boy certified. Here's your cutouts, buttons, cutouts, buttons. Big rubberized buttons. Cutouts, camera's nice and deep. Giggity. Adds a little bit of extra weight, but you're gonna protect your investment. Next, for 219 bucks, now you're getting wireless charge. Watch this. Wireless charger and deck. Now I didn't even power up the phone. I wanted to show y'all that the wireless charge works. Look at that. Wireless charge on deck for 219 bucks. All right, next, let's talk about the build quality. Now look, y'all know I've been on YouTube for over 10 years. Y'all seen all of the phones that I've been reviewing. Do you remember back in the days, if you bought a budget phone for 200 bucks, how it would have looked and felt? It would have been cheap plastic garbage. Welcome to 2020, 219 bucks. You got a glass build, which I will say, feels good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Glass build with wireless charging. Bro, 219 bucks. All right, now, if y'all wanna play a drinking game at home, every time I say 219 bucks, have a shot. Let's get through the wipe down. Build quality on this is A1. Now, it's not water resistant, but again, 219 bucks, we're not gonna nitpick. We're just gonna be happy that we got this purple haze with this beautiful build quality that actually looks modern. All right, you got quad cameras on the rear. How modern is that? Even your iPhone only has three cameras on the rear. All right, so <laughs> even the new Galaxy Note only has three cameras on the rear. You're looking extra modern with this. Fingerprint sensor on the rear, beautiful. All right, now I will say this, the phone is definitely heavy, but that's due in part to the big giant 5,100 milliamp battery. Now I said this in my last video, I'm not looking for the thinnest, lightest phone in the market. I want a phone that I can use all day long. And I'll sacrifice adding a little bit of extra weight to have a bigger battery. And this phone does that well. And again, it just gives it more of a premium feel to it. Doesn't feel like a $219 phone at all. And I can guarantee you, if you walked up to somebody in the street and dropped this in their hand and said, uh, guess how much I paid for this? They are not gonna say 219 bucks. All right, trust me. Now, fingerprint sensor in the rear, that might show you that it's not flagship status, but still, all right, that build quality is killing the Pixel 4 XL. Uh, yeah, the Pixel 4a XL? The Pixel 4a? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying. All right, that plastic build, I hate it. Look at this. Have another shot, 219 bucks. Next, now there's a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You swipe up, put in your pattern and your pin. You got your rear mounted fingerprint sensor, which works nice and fast. Bang. Bang, you know what I'm saying? Let's do that again. There it is. And of course you got face unlock. Now I'm not looking at it. I just looked at it. Now I'm gonna look at it. Bang. Bang. One more time. Bang. Face unlock, fingerprint sensor, wireless charge. 219 bucks, let's get drunk. Next, display. Big, beautiful display. Now you got a little teardrop notch. All right, nothing to really complain about with that. Beautiful, beautiful IPS LCD display. Now I will say this, 
it could get a little bit brighter. But again, I'm trying my hardest not to nitpick about little stuff because in the grand scheme of things, this is a great phone for 219 bucks. I wish this phone would have been out when I was buying my daughter all of those Walmart phones that she kept breaking and losing. Then when she started to get a little bit older, she didn't want to be seen with something that looked too outdated. This phone would have been perfect. All right, so if you're looking for a phone for your parents, phone for your kids, a phone for you, you already got an iPhone 11 Pro Max and you want to play around with an Android phone, this is a nice little phone to check out. Anyway, I digress. Back to the display. No problems with that. Let's go through some of the basic stuff. All right, so here's your toggles. You do got, you do got our screen recorder. I don't see anything else that we need to look at. And of course, you got your mobile hotspot. And of course, you got night mode. Night mode and dark theme. All right, you got night mode and dark theme. Look at the dark theme. Whew. Now, I'm going to turn that off because it looks a little bit easier to see things in white in the video. Let's take it over to settings. Okay, now, one thing that is missing from this phone is NFC. All right, there's no NFC. Now, if you go to about phone, now say you're just a, a, a rookie, you buy this for your parents, tell them to make sure that they go to about phone and look at all this good information. So it shows you how to use your face ID, shows you how to use your fingerprint sensor, shows you how to use portrait mode in the camera, because believe it or not, a lot of people don't know how to do that. It shows you how to use the 108 megapixels super zoom, all right, scumbag status. You got your AI intelligence, and it shows you your navigation bar. Because a lot of people don't like using the three buttons on the bottom. You want to use the swipe gestures. It'll give you a little tutorial and show you how to use everything. And also, if there's any information that they got to call for the carrier, everything is right here. So you got your, your MEID, your SIM status, all your legal information, everything on deck. Next, let's go to uh, more data. Like I said, no NFC, but you do got VPNs and private DNS. All right, so you ready to, uh, <laughs> you ready to stream that Mike Tyson fight that's coming up? and you ain't trying to pay for it, bang, VPNs, private DNS. Don't tell anybody I told y'all that. Let's take it over to display. Okay, now this is on max brightness. Let's see anything we need to check out. All your basic stock stuff. You got screen color mode. Let's see, you got standard, vivid, color, and customized. <laughs> Little net just got me. <laughs> so your different screen colors. <laughs> I know. Let's see, uh, lock screen display. Okay, now if you want to, you can add users from the lock screen. You can have a little message. You got screencast and you got printing. Navigation bar, like I said, if you don't like the three buttons on the bottom, you can have full screen swipe gestures. Or if you're one of those people that like having the back button on the right, you can swap that around. I like having the back button on the left. Let's take it over to sound. Watch this. One bottom firing speaker. But it's nice and loud though. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and loud. It's pleasantly loud. Now, I'm going to play a YouTube video so you can see for yourself. Matter of fact, let's see anything else we need to check out. For security, you got face unlock, fingerprint sensor, and you do got smart lock. Let's see, you got your... Now, if this phone is kind of big for you, you can use smart touch. When you open that up, that'll give you that little ball right there. All right, let me, let me silence that real quick. Smart touch, uh, smart touch will give you that little ball. So if you got small hands or if you're buying this for a little kid, show them how to set up smart touch. Put this little ball on the bottom. Then you can have the little ball for your menu mode. All right, so you can have it change all different things. Or you can just have it in straight gestures. And you can also set it up to single clip, go to back, double double click, take it to your home screen, long press, take it to your lock screen. You can change these up and reorganize them at your leisure. Now I'm going to turn that off because I don't need it. Let's see anything else. Digital well-being and parental controls. Again, if you're buying this for a kid, you got your parental, uh, your, your parental controls on deck, all right? Because some of these kids are scumbags nowadays, and you got to watch them. Use your parental controls, fellas, all right? Don't have your kids being too savage too early. Digital well-being, all right? If you find yourself online all day, every day, monitor your digital well-being. Take a break and uh, go into the real world every now and then. Let's say anything else. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's go to one more thing I wanted to show y'all. Let's see, accessibility, do we have it? Oh, here it goes, that, that was it right there. All right, accessibility. Now, I know a lot of people that's hearing and visually impaired, so I try to make it my point to always show this in my phone unboxings. You do got all your access to accessibility features. All right, so if you're hearing or visually uh, visually impaired, you can still enjoy this phone. See, you got color inversion, large mouse pointer, remove animations, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you got epilepsy, turn all that stuff off. All right, let's keep it moving. So that's pretty much it on that. Stock UI, basically, no bloatware on this. 
right out of the box, everything is running nice and smooth. No hiccups. All right, so here's your Google page. All right, if you want to see what's going on in the latest world of tech, let's see, we got the Sopranos. Now look, this, this is a new part of my video that I'm gonna do, that I'm gonna incorporate into some of my phone reviews. Real world testing, all right, real world testing. Let's act like we got the phone and we're gonna use it in the real world, all right? Now, matter of fact, I'll save that for a minute. I'll save that for a minute. First, let me show y'all the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to amazon.com. Opening web page. Now, this is my first time doing this, so I might have to set up my Chrome. Oh no, I actually already went through. All right, look at this. Nice scrolling speeds the full website let's do a little split screen multitasking let's see let's throw in YouTube on the bottom keep in mind this is a $219 phone with Amazon on the top and YouTube on the bottom let's see what I'll now y'all know I'll be watching um, <laughs> Chris Hansen all right watch a little Hansen on the bottom have a seat you don't always get to okay and shopping on Amazon at the same time. Let's check out this LG TV. Alright, checking out the LG TV and watching Chris Hansen bust some predators online at the same time. Multitasking on a $219 phone that you can't even do on your $1,200 iPhone. How dope is that? Now let me pull up a YouTube video so you can check out this beautiful display and listen to the speaker. Okay, now in order to test the speakers out, we got the official Flossie Carter sound test from my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Check this out. One bottom firing speaker. Nice and loud. <laughs> I love this dude. Like I said, one bottom firing speaker. But it gets pretty loud. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rebier. Now, let me pull up another video so you can watch the display. All right, here's my classic Sony video. Check this one out. Full screen. Here's your viewing angles. Beautiful. 219 bucks, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Look at that. Let's keep it moving. All right, so for this part of the video, I'm calling it RDA, regular daily activity. How does the phone perform for regular stuff? First thing you do when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna hit that fingerprint sensor. Bang, open up your phone. Now what I do, I go right to my Gmail, check my messages. All right, so let's go to updates. Let's see, do I got anything coming in the mail? Okay, go through all of my stuff. Read all my emails. Regular daily activity. The next thing I do, take it right over to Instagram. All right, so we're going to go over to Instagram. Let's see what Mr. Mookie's up to. I hate when I check my transaction history and it all adds up. I hate that too. Let me go ahead and like that. I'll just scroll through. Okay, somebody, Paulie Walnuts. Some beautiful looking food. Looks delicious. Let me go ahead and like that. Okay, we got a happy couple right here expecting a baby. I love to see that. Let me go ahead and like that. Okay, we got a little buns on deck. Like that too. I've right, got my man Gilly. He probably cracking some jokes. 
I'll save that for later because I like to see all those little skits. And we got my man Star chilling on a giant milk crate, trying to look all cool. All right, I see you, Star. But basically, Instagram works fine. I'll check my feed and see if uh, anybody sent me anything. Okay, now somebody commented on my World Star post because World Star. Now this is just daily activity. World Star posted this iPhone concept video. Like, oh, this is how iPhone's gonna look. Let's get a little sound. This is how iPhone's gonna look. And um, <laughs> let me exit out of that. Somebody posted that, and my comment. Let me go to my comment. Hold up. My comment. I want to show y'all real quick. Let me turn the volume down. My comment was. You wish Apple was that innovative. And I see a couple of people uh, like that. I know I thought it was I thought it was witty. <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Anyway, let's keep it moving. All right. So that's how Instagram is going to look. Then after that, I take it over to Facebook. Let me see what's going down on Facebook. Okay, my man Peter. Therapy time. What's he getting ready to do? Play some golf. Okay, looking. All right. See what's going on. Bunch of ads. Okay. Okay, uh, Tanya, okay, I see you. Happy birthday. Uh, my man just turned big 40. All right, I see you, bro. Happy birthday. You know, basically, I'm just going through Facebook, chilling, seeing what's going down, seeing the latest developments on the race wars. All right. <laughs> see, no, no, <laughs> see what's up. All right, new gadgets. Oh, new gadgets coming out. That looks cool. I like that. Again, I like to see happy couples doing their thing. Okay. Everybody shining. I dropped the like likes hotcakes. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so after that, I'll get off of Facebook. Then I might have to go take a dump. So while I'm doing that, let me take it over to TikTok. She was going down in the world of TikTok. All right, we'll do the update later. Okay, my dude getting a little workout. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Keep it The family show right here. Mariah Carey back on the set. Okay. Yeah, I didn't like that. Okay, now I'll take it over to me. Now, I'm only following one person <laughs> on TikTok, and that's my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what she's up on TikTok. Meet my dad. Thank you, Daddy. You know, me and my daughter doing our thing. You know, she loves me. You know, <laughs> how could you not, though? How could you not? All right, so look ahead and like that. Basically, now after I finish that, next thing I want to do, take it over to YouTube. Click on YouTube. Watch some videos. Y'all seen that already? Now watch this. I can exit out of YouTube and still have my player. Let's um, let's see what else. Let's go over to um the Play Store. See if there's any new apps coming out while I'm watching my YouTube video. Okay, see any new apps? It is what it is. Pause. Exit out of that. Now it's time to go to work. Boom! Jump in the car. Go to work. Now I'm on my lunch break, or I'm chilling at work, you know, pretending to do some work. Now I want to do a little bit of gaming. So let's try out some gaming. We're going to load up Asphalt 9. Now this is my first time loading this up, so give me a second, let's let everything load up. Yeah, I know, if you ever first get this game, it takes a while to set things up. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. All right, here we go. Asphalt 9. Let's get it in. Look at that Rory. Keep in mind, y'all, this is a $219 phone that we get ready to do some gaming on. All right, here we go. I'm out in the Rory. Let's go. Okay, driving the automatic. Okay, here we go. Hold the drift. Okay. Okay, hold up. All right, there it is. Hold the drip. Okay. Woo! All right, tap for the nitro. All right, here we go. The nitro. Watch this next drip, y'all. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Nitro into the drip. Woo! Let's see. Uh, okay, now you can swipe for different options. Yo, I actually like this game. I don't know why I don't play it more often. All right, here we go. Let's swipe to the left. Let's swipe to the right. We'll take the left way. The nitro. Take it over to the left. Little drift. Woo! Nitro. Now watch that ramp, yo. I'm going for that ramp, yo. All right, here it goes. I'm going for the ramp. 
Let's go. Woo! Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Nitro. Oh! Woo! What am I doing? I like it though. All right, there it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't wrap the Rory. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I know. I'll I'm, I'm, I'm be having too much fun. Basically, gaming on your $219 phone. Now, there was really no lag. I might have seen a couple of frame drops here and there, but no lag. Nothing to be complaining about, especially on a big, heavy game like Asphalt 9. All right, this is a big, heavy game. Okay. Unlock that car. There's your cutscenes. And we'll keep it moving. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Now you're in the cafeteria, having your lunch, minding your business. You see two people arguing. It's starting to get heated. You know blows are getting ready to be thrown. Grab your phone. Hit the World Star Hip Hop button. All right, that's the power button. Press that twice. That'll activate your camera. Yell out World Star. Start recording. All right, so let's go through some of the basic camera features. Okay, so you got video. Let's go to settings, maximum video quality, 4K. Let's go to photos. Photos, you got four times zoom. And if you wanna go wide angle, wide angle shot. You got beauty mode. All right, so if you old school and you're trying to look a little bit younger, activate beauty mode, soften up your skin. And you got more. So you got night mode, you got pro mode, you got 108 megapixel scumbag zoom, you got HDR, you got your animated GIFs, you got filters, panorama, slow motion, time lapse, intelligent scanning, and macro. Now intelligent scanning is pretty dope. Let's open that up real quick. Take a picture of something with words. And it bong. Brings you right to that website. All right? Scan your barcodes. That's pretty dope. Let's exit out of that. And again, like I said, you got your macro shots. One thing I will say after testing out this camera, the macro shots actually do look pretty good. They look pretty good. All right, so let's take a look at some test pictures and videos that I took.
right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Blue G90 Pro a major go. And at 219 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. 5,100 milliamp battery, big beautiful display, wireless charge, split screen multitasking, works for gaming, has a decent camera. I mean, for the price, you really can't complain. Like I said earlier, your parents, you, your kids, there's no excuse to be walking around with a trash phone in your pocket in 2020. All right, if you're looking for savings, 219 bucks, save some money, get a Blue G90 Pro. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuce. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Energize.